today we are here at uh, Scott Sports headquarters in GVC and this is the product launch of the all-new Scott Addict RC. My name is Rico Süße and I'm the head of engineering in the road bike department and I'm going to introduce to you now the all-new Addict RC. When we went into the development of this new bike, we had one single development target, which was first quickly defined, but at the same time we already knew that it's pretty hard to achieve. We want to come up with the best performing road bike on the market. When we are looking at the, at the new Addict, when it, when it came to the, to the geometry, the goal was to make the bike ready uh, for modern tire specs. The, the bike is specified with uh, 28 mm tires on 21 C rims. This opens up actually two challenges. First is for sure the clearance, you have to, have to have enough clearance. But at the second point, due to the bigger volumes of the tires, the whole bicycle raises up a little bit. Here we said, okay, we, want, we still want to have this race-ready geometry, which we all like and which we are used to have. So the approach we took was to have a longer fork with a shorter head tube and a lower bottom bracket. Like this, we ensure that the bicycle um, has enough clearance for the, for the modern tire spec, but at the same time, we are still on the race-ready geometry which we used to have. Yeah, I've only rode it once or twice already now, so it's still really fresh. But for me, it's, it's, it's a great bike. The first thing I noticed was is, is once I got out of the seat, is really the stiffness in the bottom there. Different lead compared to the old bike, and I already thought, like I say, the bike was the best bike I've ever used. All my races I've won have, have been on this bike. When it comes to integration, we followed a completely new approach. We um, patented a completely new concept of cable integration, which is called um, the eccentric bicycle fork shaft. Um, as you can see, the bike looks stunningly clean. So there is no wire exposed, um, not at one single spec level. So there's both electronic shifting, mechanical shifting and hydraulic braking is integrated at all spec levels. The heart of this integration is, as I said, our very own patent. And maybe it's a little bit easier if, if I explain it on, on the cut model. The theory behind is that we have an eccentric um, steerer shaft, as you can see here. So in the center, the um, rotational axis of the fork is exactly, exactly concentric to the um, rotational axis of the bottom bearing. On the top, this looks a little bit different. The rotational axis of the steerer has a slight offset of three millimeters towards the rotational axis of the top bearing. And this combination of a one and a quarter inch steerer with a three millimeter offset inside a 1.5 inch um, top, tube, uh, top bearing gives us um, enough space to guide the, the cables internally into the frame. This you can actually see right here. Talking about aerodynamics, there is no wire exposed in front of the, of the cockpit and this for sure has positive influence of the generated track of the whole bicycle. But we didn't stop there. We even went further and applied our um, patented um, F01 aero um, foil on all the main sections of the main tubes, um, as you can see here. The fork, the head tube, the down tube, the seat tube, <coughs> the seat post and the seat stays have our um, patented F01 um, aero shape. But still we want to ensure um, the real amount of comfort which the rider needs to, to stay fast over the long term. So for that we also did three different approaches. We lowered the seat stays to um, increase the, the flex generated in the seated area. We also applied a D-shape um, cross-section on the seat post and on the seat tube. On top of that, we also um, applied our comfort optimized layup inside the seated area or inside the comfort area of the bicycle. Super, very nice. <laughs> I think it's a really nice move for the for the brand is a really fast one, but also climb really well. So I don't know where I can put this bike in climber or sprint bike because it's good for both. Having comfort is nice, as mentioned, but for sure you want to have a certain amount of stiffness in order to make sure that your pedal stroke is really converted into acceleration. And for that, we also had three different approaches. We had the, the two oversized bearings in the top and on the bottom of the, of the head tube. Like this, we, we could create um, 
a maximized um, connection towards the top tube and towards the down tube. Also on the bottom bracket, we tried to maximize the connection towards the down tube and towards the C-tube, and this gives a rigid structure towards the bottom bracket area. We also applied our um, stiffness optimized layup all along the stiffness backbone of the bicycle. So like this, we really um, distinguish the functions of the, car, uh, of the um, carbon layup. The top one is made to have enough compliance when it, comes, when it becomes rough on the street, whereas this, the bottom one really provides the needed lateral stiffness you need for being fast. We also put a lot of effort into the um, lightweight aspect. We, we had basically three different approaches. We applied our advanced molding, molding structure. The second one is that we really applied a completely um, hollow frame kit. And the third one is that we, um, we took really special care to every single little detail. For the hollow molded structure, for instance, you can have a look at the sandwich hanger. The rear end is molded completely hollow. And then we're gonna have a machining step in the, in, right in the middle. And then we take the, the RD hanger, not just for the function of, having, uh, of keeping the rear derailleur, we also give it the, the function of providing the, the structural function of, of, of the sandwich construction right here. The same we followed also on the front in the fork. So it is really a 100% hollow structure. And the last thing about the details is for instance, you can, you can see this on the, on the seat clump. The new super minimalistic seat clump is at a weight of 12 gram. Um, this is light, but this is not the end of being light. We could also reduce the weight of the seat post significantly. In comparison to an, to an equal shaped seat post, we were able to save 66 gram just by reducing the weight of the, amou uh, the amount of weight in the seat post and in the seat clump. And this is then really what, it, what in our eyes provides the perfect road bike when it comes to um, road bike racing.